Yes. Okay. After that, how you can manage it? How you can manage this atmospheric pollution? So they are the same way that you have to avoid the reasons or you have to avoid the factor which are causing this one. For example, reduction of carbon foot footprints. Carbon footprint means a measure of the impact of our activities on the environment. If the cal it calculates all the greenhouse causes, it means that we should reduce the use of carbon in our life. Because if we use the carbon, carbon use also comes mainly in fossil fuels, burning wood, coal, petrol, so that one. Reduce the use of fossil fuels, you can reduce the fossil fuels. Lower sulfur coal can be burned. Before burning the coal, you can reduce the amount of sulfur or use a coal which has less sulfur amount. Increase the use of renewable resources. Energy efficiency, using energy, energy efficient appliances, for example, before they are using light bulbs which are converting more energy into heat energy and less into light. Now they are replaced by LEDs or tube lights. Now they are more efficient. They will give you more light and less energy waste. After that they hang a carbon, carbon capture and storage. Waste carbon dioxide from power station can be transported via pipelines to storage sites. So they, they said they, they are saying that instead it will go to the atmosphere. Just store the carbon dioxide and st store in some other places or release it in the area where too much forest so they can absorb it. Transport policies, yes, this the government should do. They can create a lane for cycles, bus lane, metro system and trams. Instead of people will use their own cars. So more cars, they will consume more petrol, more pollution. So people should use the cycles or they should buses or metro or tram, mean the train systems. Electric of hybrid cars can be encouraged. Biofuels can be used. Vehicles can be banned from certain parts of the city and pedestrianization means the people can walk on foot you should increase that culture public transport and residential parking can be made free so these are the factors you by this you can reduce the atmospheric pollution or you can manage the atmospheric pollution another thing that international agreements or policies should be made and signed so that the countries should follow an international level CFC replacement reduction in the chlorofluorocarbon use hydrofluorocarbons instead of chlorofluoro you can use hydrochlorofluorocarbons okay as an alternative safe if even you are using the CFCs for example you are using a, a perfume spray and after that you are throwing it and it can cause the atmospheric pollution more so you should dispose in such a way under the ground or some place it cannot cause the pollution. Taxation, if you have a car, so you have to apply a more tax. So not so at the time, one time due to the tax, you will leave your car and you, you start to use public transport. This is also another trick how the government can force the people to use public transport. After that catalytic converter, this topic is in chemistry. Catalytic converter is a device like this, maybe you saw. It is in the car exhaust, like this shape. Inside this, this is known as catalytic converter. What the function of catalytic converter, if from this side carbon monoxide will come, it will make it carbon dioxide. If nitrogen oxide come from this side, this catalytic converter make it into nitrogen gas. So they are safer. So this is catalytic converter. In all the cars it is already fitted. Catalytic converter vehicles reduce sulfur dioxide also. 
they are also convert nitrogen oxide into carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide into nitrogen respectively sulfur low sulfur vehicle fuels can be used this is another after that flow gas desulfurization this is uh, for example in the factories let's say this is your factory in this factory you have this chimney through this chimney the smoke is going out smoke is going out then it's going to the atmosphere so they will fit here filters or scrubbers they are known as so before the smoke will go out from this chimney they will absorb all sulfur dioxide from it and the smoke which is go out it has less sulfur dioxide almost 95 percent sulfur dioxide can be removed by this process so this is known as flow gas desulfurization or scrubbers these filters which are used which are used to stop sulfur dioxide they are known as scrubbers or filters so government should make a strict inspection that all the factories are using these filters are not this is another method to reduce the atmospheric you can say pollution reforestation that and forestation so here reforestation you know that growing the trees and plants you can see the difference between reforestation means replacing an area with trees afforestation means planting trees in a barren land means there is already there is no area okay and uh, sorry there is no trees and you will cultivate the trees there so these are the techniques or sorry these are the policies or the decisions the government and individual should take to avoid all the you cannot you can say finish all atmospheric pollution but you can reduce it up to a great level if you will use all these things these are the key terms of this chapter and your chapter number seven is finished